With Herman Cain essentially tied for the lead in the Republican presidential contest, we've been following late-breaking developments on those accusations of sexual harassment. Today, one of the women who've accused him said through her attorney that there were several incidents in 1999. That's when Cain was head of the National Restaurant Association. For his part, Cain has said repeatedly that he has never harassed anyone. The woman who released the statement today remains anonymous. Political correspondent Jan Crawford starts our coverage with the attorney's news conference. Jan? Well, Scott, these allegations have rocked this presidential campaign, and all week Herman Cain has denied any wrongdoing. Today, that lawyer directly contradicted him, although the woman does remain anonymous. She made a complaint in good faith about a series of inappropriate behaviors and unwanted advances from the CEO. Attorney Those Joel Bennett says his client was telling the truth when she accused Herman Cain of sexual harassment when she worked for him 12 years ago. Mr. Cain knows the specific incidents that were alleged. My client filed a written complaint in 1999 against him specifically, and it had very specific incidents in it. And if he chooses to not remember or not acknowledge those, uh, that, that's his issue. But Bennett said the woman, who he said is a government employee married for 26 years, would not reveal details of what happened to protect her privacy. When you say inappropriate behaviors, does that include any physical contact with your client? We're not going to get more specific about what was physical, what was verbal. It, was, it qualified as sexual harassment in our opinion. Bennett would not specify how many times the alleged incidents happened, but said they occurred over at least a month's time. More than one, we're not going to get more specific than that. We resolved the case at an early level. It never got to that point where I could evaluate it as a case for litigation. Another woman also has accused Kane of harassment when he led the National Restaurant Association in the 1990s. Kane has denied he ever harassed anyone and said the revelations were a calculated smear campaign. Kane said he recalled one complaint that led to a separation agreement. It was concluded after a thorough investigation that it had no basis. In a statement, the Restaurant Association said the woman filed the complaint in July 1999, a month after Kane left the organization. It said Kane disputed the allegations in the complaint and that it reached an agreement with the woman two months later, in September, without any admission of liability. Bennett said he would not discuss details of that agreement or how much money his client got. This was a settlement of an internal complaint of sexual harassment. It was not a severance agreement. Now, Kane's advisor said he is done talking about those allegations after answering questions all week. Scott, their response today, we look forward to focusing our attention on the real issues impacting this country, like fixing this broken economy. Jan, the primaries start in just two months. How is this playing in the early states? Well, so far, Scott, our reporting shows voters are not buying these allegations and they're still backing Herman Cain. They think the details are sketchy. These women are not named and it's a campaign by the media and the left to bring Herman Cain down. And today what we saw, still no details, still anonymous. It may not change minds very much at this point. Jan, thank you very much. Cain remained campaigning today and this was the reception that he got at a meeting of the conservative Americans for Prosperity Foundation. Kane is running about even with Mitt Romney for the nomination. Kane's staff said today that his campaign has raised $1.6 million in just this last week, which the campaign says is four times more than they normally raise in a month. 